Well, the second seeded Arizona Wildcats kick off their March Madness journey right here in Sacramento against the 15 seed, the Princeton Tigers, on Thursday. And for Kylan Boswell, the Wildcats backup point guard, he should technically still be in high school. He reclassified entering his senior year to head to Tucson early after he injured his foot. And part of the reason he did that was because of the physical therapy and the medical team he would have access to. Now, it took him a while to get back onto the basketball court, but once he did, he became a defensive stalwart for the Wildcats, and he is really hitting his stride offensively as well. And for Boswell, it feels like he's just getting started. If I didn't have the type of trainers and doctors that I had here, I don't think I'd be playing right now, I'm not going to lie. Um, the way how they helped my foot get healed, the, how much uh, physical therapy I did before I even stepped foot on the court again, uh, they made sure that everything was set and in place for my foot so everybody get back on the court. But yeah, I definitely feel like I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. You know, early in the year he struggled a little bit and I just told him, I'm not really going to coach you. Uh, you know, early in the year, you know, uh, try to be healthy by December 1st. Okay, and then so he got healthy around December 1st. We'll see how it goes. I said, you know, and then January 1st, I'm going to start coaching you. And then February 1st. I'm going to start, I'm going to quit saying, well, he's doing great for a 17 year old. I'm going to start coaching you like an all conference player that you need to be. So I've been on, I've been on Kylan pretty hard and you know, that's it, a, it's a lot to take and maybe an adjustment for a 17 year old kid, but he's handled it with class. And I think he's getting better week by week, game by game right now. You know, I'm more comfortable on the court now. I'm not really getting jitters and nervous anymore. I step on the court. Um, I feel like my defensive role is up very well on this team. Either one of the better primary ball defenders on this team. I just think the biggest thing for him was just becoming patient and just like running your own race and just understanding like Tommy's method of like the plan that Tommy had for him. Or, um, I know he had a lot of success coming out of high school. I think having that success is you want to see it carry over to college right away. Once he was able to just like take everything, just understand everything's going to take time. I just feel like that's when his game started to grow. I mean, he really just telling me to just play my game and hoop. Um, I feel like he's one of my, he's one of my probably the closest friends I have on this team. Um, he's a great role model, great leader for this team. Yeah, but his main thing right now for me, you know, just to be comfortable and go out there and hoop, play as hard as I can. It feels like you've been effective all year, but especially that LA weekend, you know, it really feel like felt like you hit your stride. Did you feel anything different or something in, in particular click for you? Um, I feel like those were the only two, not the only two, but the first two games where I would like I would have like supreme confidence in myself going into the game. Um, nothing I felt rattled. I felt hot in all the warm ups for both games. Um, but yeah, that was probably the two games where I've had the most confidence going into. Them. And what does this team need to do to make sure they're making a, a deep tournament run? I'd say just come together even more than we are now. Uh, put more trust into one another. Play very hard on defense. I feel like we're a great defensive team when we lock in and try. Um, and then I feel like we'd be fine. That's it.
Kylan's had a, a, a tremendous freshman year that I think is building the foundation for what's going to be a special career. I mean, uh, I mean, he was itching to play right away. And I just told him, like, bro, you don't want to have any setbacks. Like, you already came this far. Like, make sure you're 100% before you can give your all. Uh, he's a guy who works hard. He works out every day, uh, always in the gym. Just to see that is just, at a as a 17-year-old, it kind of shows maturity in that aspect. But, um, I mean, me and him, we room with each other. We talk every day. So it's like we have little conversations here and there about there's different life goals and different things. I just think the biggest thing is just, like, being patient and just like not having too many highs or lows. And how gratifying.